Hey friends, how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling blessed and staying in God's presence. And if not, I hope you feel uplifted after today's video. If you're new here, welcome to His Princess Christian Community, where we read a chapter of the Bible every day and then discuss it afterwards and in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and it opens the door for more people to join our community. And while you're at it, check out the description box. We got a lot of great stuff in there. So today we're reading Psalms chapter 80, but before we get started, I wanted to say a prayer if you wouldn't mind bowing your heads with me. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together here on His Princess Christian Community. Thank you for opening the door for people to join our community, for connecting us and strengthening our bond. Thank you for opening our eyes, our ears, our hearts, and our minds to your word. Thank you for your wisdom, understanding, and clarity as we seek to interpret your word. And thank you for the courage to apply it to our daily lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Psalms chapter 80. Please listen, O shepherd of Israel. You who lead Joseph's descendants like a flock, O God enthroned above the, cherub the cherubim, display your radiant glory to Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Show us your mighty power. Come to rescue us. Turn us again to yourself, O God. Make your face shine down upon us. Only then will we be saved. O Lord God of heaven's armies, how long will you be angry with our prayers? You have fed us with sorrow and made us drink tears by the bucketful. You have made us the scorn of neighboring nations. Our enemies treat us as a joke. Turn us again to yourself, O God of heaven's armies. Make your face shine down upon us. Only then will we be saved. You brought us from Egypt like a grapevine. You drove away the pagan nations and transplanted us into your land. You cleared the ground for us, and we took root and filled the land. Our shade covered the mountains. Our branches covered the mighty cedars. We spread our branches west to the Mediterranean Sea. Our shoots spread east to the Euphrates River. But now, why have you broken down our walls so that all who pass by may steal our fruit? The wild boar from the forest devours it, and the wild animals feed on it. Come back, we beg you, O God of heaven's armies. Look down from heaven and see our plight. Take care of this grapevine that you yourself have planted, this son you have raised for yourself. For we are chopped up and burned by our enemies. May they perish at the sight of your frown. Strengthen the man you love, the son of your choice. Then we will never abandon you again. Revive us so that we can call on your name once more. Turn us again to yourself, O Lord, God of heaven's armies. Make your face shine down upon us. Only then will we be saved. Amen. So what did you think of Psalms chapter 80? I'm interested to hear about it in the comments below. Let me know your interpretation or your insights on the chapter. Maybe comment your favorite verse or just say hi and let us know that you're part of the community. Maybe comment your favorite emoji. Um, you can also, if you need prayer, put that in the comments too and we can pray together. And if you've been blessed, let us know so that we can rejoice with you. So Psalms chapter 80 reminds me of those times in my life where I have turned away from God and then turned back to him and expected him to immediately accept me with open arms, like vanishing away all my troubles and trials and my enemies and just rising me above to this paradise that is, you know, beyond my imagination. And that's not how it really works. You know, it's not like God will just abolish your enemies, you know, as soon as you turn back towards him. Um, so, you know, it says, listen, O shepherd of Israel, you who, le who led um, Joseph's descendants like a flock, O God enthroned, display your radiant glory, show us your mighty power. So, you know, when we're, we're, when we've turned our lives back to Christ after maybe a little bit of a, um, less than, um, good relationship with him we know when we turn back to him we want to see his mighty power we want to see you know his glory displayed in our lives to give us this reassurance that you know we're we're doing the right thing by turning back to him um and you know so it says turn us again to yourself O god make your face shine down upon us only then will we be saved so only once we feel like we're back in god's good graces do we feel like we've been saved but the thing about it is that we're always in 
God's good graces. God loves us regardless, but we want to give, um, we want to please him and honor him in every situation. So in those situations, in that time, we need to focus on how we can honor him in our current situation and how we can give him glory in our current situation so that we can feel and see his presence in our lives again. Um, so it says that our enemies treat us like a joke. Um, you have fed us with sorrow and made us drink tears by the bucket full. So it's just basically saying like you're punishing us. We feel this um, pressure upon us from our enemies and um, we don't want you to be angry with, with us anymore. We want you to hear our prayers. And it says, turn us again to yourself. Make your face shine upon us. Only then will we be saved. And again, you know, it's just saying that this is a um, uh, repeat verse. So I always like to pay careful attention to those verses that are repeats and while I know that a lot of the some of the so psalms are like songs so it's like a chorus repeating but I feel like it's very important for us to um, take note of those verses and make aware so it says turn us again to yourself so it seems like the author is asking God to turn us when we just when we have free will, we have the choice to choose God or not in every situation. We can choose to honor God in every situation that we have. And that's something that we don't always do. It's not the always the first thought on our mind is if we're honoring God in this situation. And so um, it's just a reminder that if we want God's face to shine upon us, if we want to see God in our lives, we have to look for him. We can't just wait for him to turn us to him. We have to look for him. We have to search for him. You know, as it, you know, it says, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be open to you. So we have to choose him and consciously, consciously choose him every day um, in every situation. Um, and then it says that, um, it says you brought us from Egypt so you drove away so this is these are the things that you've done for us in the past you know make known and make aware to yourself to the enemy um, remind God of all the things that he has done for you in the past you have cleared the ground for us and we took root and filled the land you cleared the ground you made our way you cleared the path for us and it says um, we spread our we spread our branches we were spreading out we were spreading God's word we were spreading his love and it says but now why have you broken down our walls so that all that pass by may steal our fruit so um you know remembering that when we are not honoring God in that situation it um, distances our relationship with him and so when he's not close to us we want to keep him as close to us as possible he can't protect us the way that we want him to if we're not keeping him close to us and we have to be aware of that that we're not able to produce good fruit if we're not being filled up by the Holy Spirit and filled up by God on a daily basis um, so then it comes back and says, come back, we beg you. So they're at, they're asking, please, God, come back to us, come back to us. We don't want this trouble in our lives. We don't want our enemies, you know, stealing from us and breaking us down. Um, so it says, take care for we have chopped up and burn, been burned by our enemies. May they perish at the sight of your frown. Strengthen the man you love, the son of your choice. Then we will never abandon you again. So I don't know how many times in my life that I have come to God. God, he's brought me out of a situation and I said, God, I'll never, never abandon you again. I'm, you know, going to stick to reading your word every day and going to church every Sunday and, you know, praying and praising you every day. And then I got so busy with my life that I abandoned him. And, and, and I, you know, slowly stopped reading my Bible every day. I slowly stopped, you know, kept finding excuses not to go to church every Sunday. Um, and then before I knew it, um, God was no longer present in my life to where I was acknowledging him in everything that I did. So, um, you know, it says, don't, um, it says, uh, well, I lost my place. It says, then we will never abandon you again. So it's like, how many times have you said, you know, God, I'm never going to abandon you again. Um, 
revive us so that we can call on your name. And how many times has God accepted your apology and come back to you and brought you back up out of whatever it was that you were um, you were doing? He rescued you and pulled you out of whatever trouble you were in. And he welcomed you back with open arms in every situation. And that's the grace and mercy of God. And we need to praise him and thank him for that every day, for his grace and mercy, for welcoming ba- us back into his arms with open arms. And we need to extend that same courtesy to other people. So show God your gratitude by giving people the same mercy and grace that he has given you. You know, when you feel abandoned by other people and, you know, they come back and they say they've changed and they're different this time, we need to give them the chance to prove that they really have changed because maybe this will be the time that they don't abandon us again. Maybe this will be the time that they stick to their word. And, you know, maybe this will be the time that we stick to our word and we stay in God's word and keep our relationship with him strong. And it says, turn us again to yourself, O Lord, God of heaven's armies, make your face shine down upon us only then will we be saved so only when we have God in our lives when we are spending time in his word every day when we are praising him when we are praying to him when we are glorifying honoring his name every day will um, we feel his face shining down upon us we will feel his presence we will be overwhelmed by his peace by his abundance by his joy by his protection um So we just need to make sure that we keep that relationship with him strong and we never abandon God ever again. So that's my interpretation of Psalms chapter 80. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you stay blessed, stay in God's presence and have a great rest of your day. I love you.